Finally get invited to a nice place with no mirrors and... Uh-oh. Lots of curtains. She's gonna figure it out. You're a vampire! <laughs> no, I'm not. R2? No, I'm not. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I want to watch Angel, Season 1, Episode 1, entitled City of Angels. Well, here we are guys. We made it to Angel. I just watched Buffy Season 4, Episode 1, and uh, yeah. So, I don't know. We might as well just jump into it. We all know where we're at. He wandered off. City of Angels is Los Angeles. Maybe he just goes to L.A., I'm not really sure where Sunnydale is supposed to be located. I guess it's someone, I did think it was up near me, north, San, I'm near San Francisco. And, uh, but someone once told me it's down there, Southern Cal somewhere. So he's not that far, if he's just in LA. But anyway, let's get going. Like, subscribe, comment. If you like full reactions, link to my Patreons down below. And let's see what happens with this show. Los Angeles. You see it at night. Los Angeles. A beacon. People are drawn to it. People and other things come for all sorts of reasons. My reason? No surprise there. It started with a girl. She was a really, really pretty girl. She was a hottie girl. She had, uh, I mean, her hair was. Uh, oh, he's talking about Puffy. <laughs> kind of remind me of her. Because, as you know, the hair. Yeah, he's drowning his sorrows. You gonna cash out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Girls are nice. Thank you. Angel, get it together, dude. Go find some real fun. Oh, is he pretending to be drunk? So you guys really know the doorman? I mean, you can get a sense of Alita. I don't want to go clubbing anymore. I want to party right here. Hey, back off. Hey, shut up and die. Excuse me. Has anyone seen my car? It's, it's big and shiny. Piss off, pal. <laughs> Breath mint? Aww. There's three of them? You shouldn't have done that. Oh my god. They were... Go home. Thank you. Get away from me. Wow. <laughs> it's like a superhero. Yes. That was good. That's a good intro. Oh, I was told not to watch the credits on the first one. I guess because there's crossovers that maybe they show in the credits. I suspect that Anya's gonna show up in because she went wandering off. She's the only one I can really think of. Maybe he runs into Spike. Spike and Drew. I'd like to see Drew again. We haven't seen her since the show. I wouldn't be surprised if they show up in this one for sure. In this show. Not much with the view, but it's got a nice back cave sort of an air to it. Who are you? It does. Doyle. You don't smell human. Well, that's a bit rude. As it happens, I'm very much human. <laughs> On my mother's side. What the fuck? I've been sent by the powers that be. Once upon a time, there was a vampire. <laughs> and he was the meanest vampire in all the land. <laughs> then one day he's cursed by gypsies. <laughs> they restore his human soul. He's mad with guilt. You know, what have I done? You know, he's freaked. Uh. <laughs> okay. 
Well, it's a fairly dull tale. It needs a little sex, is my feeling. Enter the girl. Pretty little <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Vampire slayer by trade. But eventually, the two of them, well, they, they get fleshy with one another. And the moment he, well, I guess the technical term is perfect happiness. Yeah. He goes bad again, he kills again. It's ugly. So when he gets his soul back for the second time, he can't be anywhere near Young's puppy ties without endangering the boat. So what does he do? He takes off, goes to L.A. This is so good. To fight evil and atone for his crimes. Why aren't I kicking you out? Because now I'm going to tell you what happens next. You see, this vampire, he thinks he's helping. Doing penance in his little cell. But he's cut off from the people he's trying to help. I still save him. Who cares if I don't stop and chat? When was the last time you drank blood? Buffy. One day soon, one of those helpless victims that you don't really care about is gonna look way too appetizing to turn down. And you'll figure, hey, what's one against all I've saved? Might as well eat them. Interesting. You know, it's about reaching out to people. Showing them that there's love and hope still left in this world. Hey, okay, Get a job, you lazy self. <laughs> I wanna know who sent you. I'm honestly not sure who sent you. You know, they don't speak to me direct. I get visions. I don't know who sends them. No, oh, why me? Well, because you got potential. Uh, why you? Well, we all got something to atone for. Had a vision this morning. I wrote this down. Tina. Nice looking girl. Needs help. Help with what? Well, that's your business, man. You know, I just take the names. I don't get it. Oh, We're shit. supposed to get into her life, remember? Get involved. Why would a woman I've never met even talk to me? <laughs> Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, I guess. You really have it now. <laughs> I'm not good with people. Well, that's the whole point of this little exercise, isn't it? You came? Is this guy gonna be like his sidekick? Find jobs for him to do? I'll double shift, whatever. You're on the list, okay? Gonna hook him up with Buffy lookalikes? Sure is a cute little doggy. Do you, uh, how late are you open? You talking to me? Oh. Wow, good reflexes. Yeah. Are you, uh, happy? What? Oh, well, you look sort of down. You don't hit on girls very often, do you? <laughs> it's been a while. I'm sort of new in town. Do yourself a favor. Don't stay. You never answered my question. Am I happy? You got three hours? Do I look busy? I get off at ten. Can I talk to one? Did you want to go have a drink or something? I know who you are. Stay the hell away from me, and you tell Russell to leave me alone. I don't know anyone named Russell. Then why were you in there watching me? Because you looked lonely, and I figured then we have something in common. I'm sorry. I'm sort of having relationship issues. Who's Russell? I'd like to help. Only help I need is a ticket home. Where's home? Missoula, Montana. You've been to Missoula? During the Depression. Uh, my depression. I, I was depressed there. I came here to be a famous movie star. But they weren't hiring. Well, I have a fabulous Hollywood party to go to. Girl giving it owes me my security deposit. Well, it was nice threatening you. You need a lift? Oh, that was wild. I really need to talk to you. Oh, grab yourself a drink. I'll be right there. Interesting. Who's Russell? He's someone I made the mistake of trusting. You are a beautiful, beautiful man. Thanks. You're an actor. No. That wasn't a question. I'm your manager as soon as you call. This isn't a come on. I'm in a very serious relationship with a landscape architect. Yeah, be an actor, Angel. I'm an actress. I don't put up with things like that. Cordelia? Oh my god. It is Cordelia. What the fuck? Nice to see a familiar face. I didn't know you were in LA. Are you living here? Yeah. You? Malibu. A small condo on the beach. It's not a private beach, but you know, I'm young, so I forbear. <laughs> and you're active. No way. I mean, I just started it as a way to make some quick cash, and then boom, it was like my life. What? Are you still. Yeah, there's not actually a cure for that. But you're not evil. I mean, you're not here to, you know, bite people? No, I, I just gave a friend a ride. Oh, good. Well, I better get mingly. I really should be talking to people that are somebody. Wow, what the fuck? Is she gonna be in this show now? She's grown as a person. Maybe that's why they were like, don't look at the credits. 
Maybe she's not going to be in Buffy anymore. Well, I guess not if she's acting in L.A., living in Malibu. That's fucking Russell. Of course, she doesn't have the money yet. Who's that? That's Russell. Stacy? It's just a creep. Can we please go? No, not Russell. He just wants to see you, that's all. Okay, no problem. Wow, what the fuck? Angel's got a save her. Go, Batman. Damn it. He got in the wrong car. This is gonna be good. Expanding this character out. Might kill a girl. know who you are you don't want to get involved here trust me tina get in the car you know what i don't think you're gonna pull that trigger good call nice party huh a little too fabulous for me oh cordy Oh, uh, she's not living in Malibu. Living in a dump. Stealing food from parties. I don't get a lot of visitors. At least not ones you like. I have relationship issues, too. I guess this is the part where you comfort me. Not like you didn't earn it. No. This is the part where you have a safe place to stay while we figure things out. You mean you don't want... You have enough people taking advantage right now. Boy, are you ever in the wrong town? God, that was really good acting and writing. Russell have a last name. Yeah, but you don't need to know it. You've done enough already. This is LA. Guys like him get away with murder. Who would he murder? I don't know. Maybe nobody. He likes pain. He talks about it like it's a friend of his. And you don't leave him. He tells you when he's had enough. I knew this girl, Denise. She tried to get away. She disappeared off the face of the earth. Wow. Find you. Not anymore. Yeah, come on. Take care of this Russell character. Oh, shit. It's all right. Wow. Did your friend Denise have a tattoo on her left shoulder? She, she had a rose. All right, I think she was murdered. And there have been others. He picks girls with no family, no one to care. Okay, you, you don't have to be afraid. Hey, look, you're safe here. Why do you have that? Ah, uh, oops. You knew who I was when you walked in there last night? No, I, I didn't. I, look, I had your name, all right? It's complicated. Yeah, I'm sure. Big complicated game that Russell was playing with my head. What's he paying you? He's not. Look, you have it's to. just like him. You stay away from me. Oh, yeah, that was a fuck up. Please, it's just... Just... Oops. Oopsie daisy. Caught on fire in front of the human. Russell's gonna grab you now. Got a gun. I've been looking everywhere for you. And here you are, right under my nose. Shoot him. They're gonna point that gun at me all day. What did you do to Denise? Nothing. I want the truth, Russell. She wanted to go home. I bought her a ticket to Pensacola. She's dead. She called me yesterday. She's thinking of going back to school. She wanted me to pull some strings. You know, I only want to help you. Angel's weakness is he can't go out in the daytime. Who's been spinning your head like this? I don't know. I thought you hired him. He turned into something. It was the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Well, you're young. 
Aww. Aww. I just killed her like that? She's a great actress. Damn it. Well, that's definitely not following the formula. Tried to take her at the party was called Stacy. First name or last? I don't know. Professional muscle, probably done some time. This guy driving the car leads me to Stacy. Stacy leads me to Russell. You couldn't have known she was going to run out on you like that. Forget it. Let's get to work. You can't cut yourself off. Doyle, I don't want to share my feelings. I want to find the guy that killed Tina and I want to look him in the eye. Then what? Then I'm going to share my feelings. <laughs> Man, I can't believe they killed Tina like that. She had something, didn't she? I was sorry to kill her so soon. Actually, we haven't seen her in several weeks. And we've located a witness that's telling police that he saw a dark-complected man with blood on his hands fleeing the scene. A dark-complected man? Who's this? Oh, no. Fresh face. I didn't, why didn't I think of that? Should I alert the firm that this young lady may constitute another long-term investment? I don't think so. I just want something to eat. Why does he live? How much security does he have? It's not just. What if she was to you? Better forget it. You have no idea who you're dealing with here. Russell, let me guess. Not big on the daylight of the mirrors. Drinks a lot of V8. He'll kill everyone you care about. There's nobody left I care about. I am somebody. Ah, oh, except for Cordelia. I matter. <laughs> I am right where I'm supposed to be and not dying for something to eat. Wow, this is wild. Hello, Cordelia Chase. Cor, it's Margo. Guess who saw my videotape of the party? And guess who wants to meet you? A director? Russell Winters. The investment guy? He helps people get started in their careers. And he wants to meet you tonight. He'll send a limo for you at 8. Oh, shit. People will be attracted to my positive energy and help me achieve my goals. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, best of luck to you, man. I got some fairly large coin riding on the Vikings tonight, but I'll be there with you in spirit, yeah? You're driving. I'm not combat ready, man. I'm just a messenger. And I'm the message. What is he? We don't even know what he is. He sneezes and his face gets weird. Half human. I'm Russell. Thank you so much for coming. Not cool, wow. dude. What a nice place. I grew up in a nice home. It wasn't like this, but we did have a room or two that we didn't even know what they were for. Margot tells me you're an actress. That's going well? Yeah, it's great. I've had a lot of opportunities. Well, it's not everything I... This is weird to see Cordy in kind of a humble situation. Hey, what are you watching there? Is that the game? Vikings on? Ooh. Vikings! I'm out in ten minutes or I'm not coming out. Ah, it's so good. Usually when I set out to do something, I succeed at it right away. But I am. Um, I don't really have any friends here. Now you know me. What do you want me to do? Just tell me what you want. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm getting all weepy in front of you. I finally get invited to a nice place with no mirrors and... Uh-oh. Lots of curtains. She's got to figure it out. You're a vampire. <laughs> no, I'm not. R2? No, I'm not. I'm from Sunnydale. We had our own Hellmouth. I think I know a vampire when I am alone with him in his fortress-like home. And you know, I think I'm just feeling a little lightheaded from hunger. I'm just wacky. I'm kidding. Oh, she called it. We had our own Hellmouth. I'm glad you know. It means we can skip the formalities. He's a trippy looking vampire. Russell Winters. Angel? I have a message from Tina. You made a very big mistake coming here. You don't know who he is, do you? Oh boy, you're about to get your ass kicked. Uh. Maybe Cordy can help kill him. What the fuck, dude? 
You're the one that got him into all this. <laughs> Good gate. You know, I had a little bit of an accident. Uh, we'll talk later. So they don't kill Russell? Got it. Finally. I thought it was going to faint while barfing. <laughs> okay, so it's over, right? We're going to be okay. You put the fear of God in that Russell guy. He's not going to come looking for me. Right? Oh, yeah, he is. As to the intruder who broke into your home last night, local authorities have no information on him. However, we do have several top private investigators that <laughs> are looking into his whereabouts. I believe we've located him. I'm with Wolfram and Hart. Mr. Winters has never been accused and shall never be convicted of any crime. Should you continue to harass our client, then we'll be forced to bring you in the light of day. A place I'm told that's not all that healthy for you. Angel, we do things a certain way in L.A. Well, I'm new here. But you're a civilized man. We don't have to go around attacking each other. Look at me. I pay my taxes. I keep my name out of the paper. And I don't make waves. And in return, I can do anything I want. Really? Mm. Can you fly? <laughs> wow! Didn't even hit the ground. Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Set up an inner office meeting at four o'clock. Seems we have a new player in town. There's no need to disturb the senior partners with this. Not yet. Wow! The fuck? Oh, that's what they, <laughs> that's what they did in the Buffy episode. I didn't catch that. Ah, that was good. What happened to Russell? He went into the light. Yet you don't seem to be in a celebrating mood. They killed the vampire. It didn't help anyone. You sure about that? Because there's a girl upstairs who's as happy as can be. <laughs> a cockroach. In the corner. Okay, first thing, we need to call an exterminator. And a sign painter. We should have a name on the door. Okay, I'm confused. If we're going to be helping people out, maybe a small charge. A fee. You know, something to help pay the rent and my salary. Oh, uh, this is... <laughs> organize things, and you're not exactly rolling in it, mister. I was alive for 200 years and never developed an investment portfolio. You want to charge people? Well, not everybody. But sooner or later, we are going to have to help some rich people. Right? Right? Possibly, yeah. So I figure that we should charge based on a case-by-case -case analysis, but with me working for a flat fee. I mean, um, that is, if you think you can use me? Of course, this is just temporary. Until my inevitable stardom takes effect. Well, you made a good choice. She'll provide a connection to the world. She's got a very humanizing influence. You think she's a hottie? Ah, uh, yeah, she's a stiffener, all right. I can't lie about that. A stiff. You know, there's a lot of people in this city need help. And so I noticed. You game? This is so weird. So that's the premise? <laughs> Keep making him look like Batman. I'm game. Oh, my God. Well, that was great. <laughs> I have to say, that was great. That was great. Fully entertaining. I like that weird little connection right there at the end where he called Buffy and then hung up on her. And we saw that happen in the episode we just watched. That was pretty clever. Because it was so small, you know, I forgot about it. But that was good. So that's the premise now. It's like he's going to be like a private investigator vampire killer vampire who has Cordy as like a secretary and this guy who's kind of helping him out they <laughs> set up this sort of almost cliche premise under these weird circumstances he's going to be like a gumshoe in LA look P.I. kind of they make it sound like you know and they're going to be that's going to be their little team and so Cordy's going to be in this show and not in Buffy. 
There's so much room for crossover, though. I can totally see they're going to have to, like, at least once a season have some kind of crossover episodes or characters go from this show to that show or from that show to this show. And that's so good. Well, I like Angel's character, so I like that, they, in a way, I like that they busted him out of Sunnydale and away from that Buffy world, because now they can kind of explore his, you know, his sense of humor, or his, just that character can kind of d define itself a little bit better. I mean, it pretty much was defined by loving Buffy and all that before. I mean, we, could, we got some development, obviously, but... But not, I feel like they can really go to town now. But with Cordy in this show, that's so funny. Wow. Yeah, I had to watch it. I had to watch it. If I hadn't, if I, what, can you imagine deciding not to watch this show? You would just miss out on all of that. It will be a bit of a pain in the ass to watch like a Buffy and then this, and then a Buffy and then this, and a Buffy and then this. But I'm going to try to do that as best I can. I guess, if anything, I could sacrifice and watch a couple of Buffies in a row and leave this behind a little bit. But it's now it just seems like you kind of got to go through it. Anyway, really good. Russell that killed Russell. I love that actress that played whatever her name was. She was really good. And then they had to just, they just killed her off right away, which was kind of a shame. I was kind of hoping she was going to become like a main character, maybe. You never can tell with this show who's going to get whacked and who's not. I guess we got room, too, to learn more about this assistant dude that's kind of showed up. You know, what he is, we don't even know. He just was a guy with spiky things all over his face. We can learn his backstory maybe a little more and what kind of a creature he is. Wow, what a trip. Definitely good. I mean, I can imagine being back in the day. So season four comes on a Buffy, and I think they just aired this and Angel back to back. So you would just totally, that'd be your hour for the night. Watch this and then Angel every week. Can't believe I was not watching this show back then. Would have been great. Would have been great. But then I would miss out on being able to do this. Anyway, thanks for watching. And like, subscribe, comment, and... Uh, yeah, if you like full reactions, link to my Patreons down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.